might leaning back be a good idea, sir? Um, more stable and also just it's easier to get around. Okay, so that'd be a good way to avoid active insufficiency, not just of the rectus femoris, but all the hip flexors. It's not so much you're doing a posterior tilt, you're just doing hip extension, so you're, you're lengthening them a little bit. So that's in, not in your notes, but that could be a, way to, a good way to avoid that active insufficiency. All right, go ahead and do the test, please. I can use to do that again. Daryl. Oh, I said Daryl. I didn't say Sarah. <laughs> all right, Sarah, can you look down? Daryl. All right, go ahead, measure it, please. All right, Sarah, can you look down? Okay, Daryl. Show me where you can stabilize with your other hand, even though his body weight's really stabilizing. Let's see what bone is the proximal bone of the joints? Yep, that'd be good. Yep, on the pelvis there. Thank you. Okay, all right. And show us the position for zero to two. Or, yeah, zero to two. All right, everybody else can be seeing this on page 182, 183. Okay. Sarah, what are you doing with your hands there? Just supporting. Okay. So you shouldn't be helping or resisting. Well, I was that time because I was showing the motion. Right. When you do the test, she's not supporting or helping. Right. I'm sorry, not helping or resisting. Just supporting you. <laughs> Go ahead. You good? Yes. This is the whole motion. And I'm going to get you to do that motion for you. All right. And that would be great. Okay. Show me where you're going to palpate on muscle man for this. Um, medial to sephorius, distal to the inguinal ligament. So, in a row. Okay. Good. All right, now, let me see you try to find the sartorius on him. 